Grand Theft Auto V is a pretty ridiculous game, we all know that much. You can knife fight with sharks, drive off of buildings, and even afford to live in LA. Sorry, we mean Los Santos. But if there's one thing the developers at Rockstar Games can say for themselves, it's that they have an insane attention to detail. You may think that the absurd arsenal of weapons you can pick up in-game reside purely in the realm of video game fantasy, but you're wrong. Every single weapon in the game has a real-life analog, or in many cases, several. And today, we're going to tell you about all of them. It's time for all the players out there to lock and load, because it's only going to get crazier and crazier. These are GTA V's guns in real life. Let's start with the basics. You can't survive in Los Santos without your pistol, the first firearm you receive in the game. Despite the pretty generic name, the firearm enthusiasts on the Internet Movie Firearms database have found that Five's basic pistol is clearly based on the Taurus PT-92 AF, though its default clip contains 12 rounds compared to the real PT-92 AF, which has magazines of 10, 15, or 17. But hey, as an ardent GTA player, you're hardly leaning on a basic pistol. What if you want a little more firepower for your buck? Take the game's heavy pistol, for example. This nifty little gun can be upgraded to have an absurd 36 magazine clip. And while that isn't yet possible without a crazy footlong extension, the design of the gun is very much grounded in reality. For the real life variant, you'll need the Enterprise Arms Wide Body 1911. Not big enough for you? How about we take things up a notch and load a 9 round clip into the pistol 50 caliber? This is based on an equally powerful and iconic real life weapon, the Desert Eagle. However, the designers here have taken a lot of liberties with the original. They've changed everything from the long beaver tail of an actual Desert Eagle to the safety switch, so Desert Eagle purists may not go home satisfied. What's that? You want more power? Jeez, maybe the gun for you is the Marksman Pistol, a devastatingly powerful single-shot pistol based on the real-life Thompson Center Arms Contender. Maybe firing one shot is a little too conservative for you. Perhaps you want to take down your enemies with a quick and deadly parabolic hellstorm. In that case, the fully automatic AP pistol is probably for you. Sadly, you won't have much luck with this one in real life. It's a combination of the Colt Scamp and the M1911 with completely fictional automatic properties. Still, size isn't everything. What if you're the stealthier type in search of a more compact weapon to get the job done? The game's three offerings in that area are the Combat Pistol, the Ceramic Pistol, and the SNS Pistol. The SNS, short for Saturday Night Special, is a nickname often given to small, cheap guns and is actually a design portmanteau of three different weapons. In its Mach 1 variant, the SNS is a combo of the Heckler & Koch P7M10 and the Colt Jr. In its Mach 2 variant, it becomes a simple AMT backup. The Ceramic Pistol is a combination of the Heckler & Koch P7 and a Glock, and the Combat Pistol is a combination of the Heckler & Koch P2000 and the Beretta PX4 Storm. Operationally, all the guns behave similarly in-game. Whether this is because they're striving for realism or want to bleed a little more out of customers with each update is a decision we'll leave to you. For you more old-fashioned gunslingers, the game provides one classic pistol and three different revolvers. The Vintage Pistol is the product of four different weapons. The primary inspirations are the FN Model 1922 and the FN Model 1903, but it borrows the trigger guard of the Mauser HSC and the backside of a Glock. Two of the three revolvers are direct reproductions of their real-life counterparts, namely the Colt 1851 Navy and the Colt New Army and Navy dubbed the Double Action Revolver. The third revolver is the Heavy Revolver, another Franken-gun comprised of the Taurus Raging Bull and the ASG Dan Wesson CO2. Of course, the GTA V arsenal extends way beyond its wide range of pistols. If you're more of a close-range dominator, then may we interest you in our fine selection of shotguns. The most basic you're likely to encounter is the Pump Shotgun, which is a modified version of the Mossberg 590, which is slightly shorter with an oversized forend, a heat shield, and a Magpul CTR stock. The game's sawed-off shotgun is a shortened Mossberg 500 and Serbu Super Shorty style with a little longer magazine tube and short forehand instead of the Serbu vertical grip. If you're still in the mood for something a little more vintage, the game also has faithfully recreated the sawed-off double-barrel shotgun. For something a little sleeker and more powerful, maybe it's time to whip out the semi-automatic heavy shotgun. Once again, this is a Franken gun with elements of the Saiga 12 and the Norinco Type 56 too. For even more firepower, you could try the Assault or Sweeper shotguns. The Assault is a relatively direct visual translation of the UTAS UTS-15. 
Though unlike the real UTAS, the assault is fully automatic in game. This is a running theme with a lot of shotguns in the game. The sweeper is based on the arm cell protecta with a 7 inch barrel, but it's a semi automatic in the game, whereas the real gun that inspires it is manual rotation only. Finally, the bullpup shotgun, which is inspired by the Keltec KSG. On the whole, the reproduction here is pretty faithful, though its two magazine tubes are depicted mechanically as a single long tube. But sometimes a shotgun just won't do the job. Sometimes you really need to unleash hell upon your online enemies with some compact and deadly submachine guns. Here you're absolutely spoiled for choice, though will the reality measure up to the video game fantasy? Let's take a look. The most basic SMG in the GTA 5 loadout is literally just called the SMG. Creative, right? It's a portmanteau of the Heckler & Koch MP5A3 and the Taurus MT40, with artistic liberties taken with the reloading features. A number of the guns in the game have an upgraded Mach 2 version and this is no exception. The SMG MK2 has a slightly higher stopping power and rate of fire. It's a combination of the Heckler & Koch MP5K sans foregrip and the front end and magazine of the Sig Sauer MPX. The Combat PDW is also a Heckler & Koch Sig Sauer hybrid, with built-in suppression and an impressive rate of fire, for taking people by surprise and winning close combat engagements with sudden and excessive force. And if you're feeling spicy, you can even equip a 100 round drum mag, most commonly used on the infamous AR-15. If you want something a little more discreet, perhaps you're in want of the Micro SMG, modeled after the real-life Mini Uzi. With the game's classy and threatening machine pistol, you can get the experience of wielding a real-life Intratech Tech DC-9. Strangely enough, this is one of the few examples of the actual weapon being nerfed by the game version. At their highest ammo capacity with a drum magazine attachment, the machine pistol levels out at 30 rounds. Real drum mags on the Tech DCPs can hold a frightening 72 rounds. Of course, if your vision of a true gangster is a little less Tony Montana and a little more Al Capone, you might find your ideal firearm in the Gusenberg Sweeper, a Tommy gun based on the Thompson M1928A1, with some minor alterations, like a smooth barrel and erroneous closed bolt action. If it's always been your dream to look like a background villain in an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, perhaps you'd be more comfortable with the Mini SMG based on the real-life SAVZ82 Scorpion. But if you'd rather be the Arnold Schwarzenegger character rather Rather than one of the seemingly endless legions of goons he blows away, then you don't want a submachine gun, you want a real machine gun. And thankfully GTA 5 has a few that pack a devastating punch, but how true to life are they? Let's look and see. The least impressive of the heavier machine guns is simply called the MG, based on the real life PKM, with some truly bizarre artistic liberties, like a nerfed ammo capacity and an RPD circular drum magazine which wouldn't actually fit on a real PKM. Slightly more effective is the Combat MG, an intimidating Franken gun comprised of several FN Mini Me variants as well as the classic M60. But if we're talking about heavy duty firepower here, how could anyone forget the Mini Gun? The game's take on this iconic weapon is inspired by this GE M134 minigun. Although the game chooses practicality over realism, ditching the minigun's power supply and ammo feed. But maybe you're in want of a little more accuracy rather than blowing away half the neighborhood in a hail of bullets. If that's the case, perhaps a rifle is the weapon for you. And you'll be happy to hear that GTA 5 has got you covered here too. Let's start from the beginning, and we mean the very beginning, seeing as the game offers a powerful musket based on an English flintlock rifle from the 1800s. Mechanically, however, this weapon is entirely unrealistic with way too much stopping power and a reload animation that cuts out a number of the steps necessary for the weapon to even fire in the first place. You'll find that serious artistic liberties and inaccuracies are a running theme with the rifles in the game. The weapon designated the erroneous name of Assault SMG appears to be a portmanteau of the Magpul PDRC and the FN P90TR. The bullpup rifle is the mutant offspring of elements from the Norinco Type 86S and the QBZ-95-1, the Norinco QBZ-95, and the Lapa FA-03. The carbine rifle is a custom AR-15 carbine with a bevy of attachments and modifications, incorrectly presented to be collapsible in game. The compact rifle is an AK derivative that appears to be largely inspired by the Norinco Type 56-2 and the Bulgarian Arsenal ARSF. The game's special carbine is a custom Heckler & Koch G36C with a magazine reminiscent of a Galil 762. The advanced rifle is in real life the IMI Compact DeVore CTAR-21 with a raised scope mount and an open pistol grip. The game's assault rifle is a derivative of the Norinco Type 562 with some of the design trappings of the classic AK-74, like its 90-degree gas block. 
Finally, we have the Marksman rifle, modeled largely upon the Ruger Mini 30. Though much like the carbine rifle, it's incorrectly shown to have a collapsible stock. Your standard rifles and carbines are great, sure, but what about GTA 5 sniper rifles? Is the game's take on the assassin's firearm of choice faithful to the reality? The game's standard sniper rifle is the Accuracy International AWF, which is relatively accurate to its real-life counterpart save for an overly long magazine. Their treatment of the Barrett M107, the inspiration for their heavy sniper, is less charitable. Everything from the raised full-length scope rail to the magazine capacity is off here, though in spite of these inaccuracies it makes for a fun weapon in-game, allowing you to execute perfect headshots from impressive distances. How about we end the video with a bang, literally, and talk about GTA 5's approach to heavy artillery. We're talking launchers. The primary weapon in this regard is the homing launcher based on the FIM-92 Stinger with a slimmer launch tube and an incorrect muzzle loading system. Next we have the more discreet, well discreet as an explosive can be, compact grenade launcher based on the shortened version of the M79 grenade launcher with a pistol grip. The game also features a regular grenade launcher, a roll filled in by a Milcor Mark 14 MGL with a Magpul CTR stock, which is relatively faithful aside from its too high grenade capacity and use of smart bombs that detonate on contact to people and vehicles. Finally, perhaps the most iconic grenade launcher of all time, available for all lovers of mayhem and destruction in GTA 5, the RPG-7, complete with PG-7V and custom polygonal breach. When it comes to raising cane in the city of Los Santos, you really can't go wrong with this, and thanks to the accuracy of this recreation, you could do the same in real life too. Though for moral and legal reasons, we really wouldn't recommend it. And there we have it, a rundown of some of the most iconic firearms in GTA 5 and their real-life counterparts. In a lot of cases, the guns you're using to tear Los Santos apart are fusions of several real-life weapons designed to maximize the fun of the in-game experience at the slight expense of realism. After all, if you want to be a responsible gun owner in real life, you really shouldn't be taking any tips from Grand Theft Auto. Now go check out most successful weapons ever invented and weirdest weapons in the world for more about history's most interesting death machines.